Uh, Dean? Okay. My name is Dean O'Crand. I live in Sherman Oaks. I live behind the uh, proposed project. Uh, when I bought my house less than two years ago, I did my due diligence. I checked the zoning in the area and found out that those five houses in question are zoned R1. I did that because there is a large apartment complex built next to those houses, and I didn't want to see another chunk of Magnolia turn into large apartments that would impact uh, my front yard. I did my due diligence. Zoning means something, and I think if something's going to be changed, there has to be an extremely compelling reason. Building another apartment complex of that height, to me, is not a compelling reason. There's lots of use that can be done to that land that will increase density, which is a, what a lot of people think about. There can be courtyard apartments. There can be small lot housing. There's lots of stuff that can be done, but a three-story apartment building, especially after checking zoning, is not one of them. The other thing I'd like to say is Mr. Height owns those five houses. Those pictures represent how he maintained those five houses. Last year, he paid $6,662 in property taxes, yet there's crumbling foundations, dry rot, air conditioners held up by two by fours. So I, I don't trust that he's going to maintain more property. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean. Carrie Open. Hi. I just want to to make the board aware that the representatives of Horace Height, while they have good intentions, this, the building that's proposed has nothing to do with Horace, Height, Horace Height's estates. It's a completely different project. It's, you know, a, it's, it's, a, it's a whole other concept. There's a, a big apartment building that he owns in between his, his new proposal. It's, it's a completely separate building, separate uh, units. It has nothing to do with the Horace Heights estates, and I just want you to be aware that they're, what, what they say is, I, I'm sure they live in a nice community, but it has nothing to do with this proposal. Okay, thank you very much. Um, are you Sam Zines? I am. Okay. I do not like green eggs. Excuse me. So I agree with everything that Dean just said. Uh, I too am one of the residents uh, behind the proposed project. My house actually butts right up against the project. Um, I'm also here with the San Fernando Valley Neighborhood Coalition. Um, I don't understand why we would just approve his own change that would just increase his property value so much at the expense of all of us. Um, that's pretty much plain and simple what we'd be doing. Um, I have 20 minutes worth of points here, so I'm going to be brief. Um, I've been called ungrateful by Mr. Height um, for not being grateful that he's building a building in my backyard. I really don't understand that. Um, all of these people that have come and spoken on behalf of the project, I'm going to say 90% of them work for Horace Height or live there and are bust in here. And I'm tired of coming to these meetings and hearing this same stuff of people that are bust in here. This is not a representation of our, our community. Truly. Um, I'm totally against the project. Thank you. Uh, are you Janet? Yeah. Janet? Okay. Hi. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Hi, yeah. I'm Janet Shaw. I live um, right yeah. next I live right next to the um, proposal and I am very opposed to it. Um, I'm probably the youngest one in here. I represent what Sherman Oaks future is. I just had a baby two months ago um, and I've been to every single meeting. She's probably been to about five meetings in utero and three meetings outside. But, um, you know, we bought the house, checking the zone changes, and it's right looking into her backyard. They already have a 45 unit luxury apartment complex next door with very bad reviews on Yelp and apartmentreview.com. People are scared to drive out of their driveway on Magnolia. Um, everyone here that spoke for them works for them or has family history and I, and I appreciate and Mr. Height did your father did great things and we appreciate that but everyone here is talking about bringing back the old estates with open space they're cutting down 30 trees for this proposal and taking away five homes evicting them it's just not a good idea and as a future I say please don't rezone and build more density for no reason. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Okay. Um, please, Jen, are you speaking? Yep. 
No. Do you have a last name, Jen? It's Jen. Okay. My name is Jen. I'm also with an organization called the San Fernando Valley Neighborhood Coalition. I strongly oppose this project, and a minute is not nearly enough time to tell you why. And, um, first, just to address the complete misinformation of the fact that somehow this project is going to improve air quality. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a certified California naturalist. One, one healthy, mature tree, let's just say 45 years old, absorbs more than 3,500 pounds of carbon in one year. It's going to take any new sticks that they put up about 50 years just to get established. I can't even talk all about the trees. The reality is, is that evictions, demolition of existing affordable housing, rent control, open space, natural resources, and all of the ingredients that everybody was attracted to and why you guys live in Sherman Oaks are depleting. And they are not depleting because naturally, this is just happening naturally. This is happening because of one reason, and it's called human disturbance. And CEQA, Public Resources Codes, and California Government Codes are there to protect us from those encroachments. And I, I'm sorry, I, just, I can't even finish. Uh, it's just, I, I, I cannot, I'm, I wish I could. Why don't you finish your sentence? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. CEQA, Public Resources, Co Public Resources Codes, California Government Codes, and Los Angeles Municipal Codes are there to protect us from proposals exactly like this. Every time you approve a project that does so much damage to the environment, it also tells the voters that you are choosing to bend the rules for the sole request of one developer at the expense of an entire healthy existing community. And no one, no one is arguing whether or not there's proper management on this property, but the reality is, is that it doesn't belong there, and it's in, it, for all. Okay, thank you thank very you. much, Thanks, Jen. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, we've heard uh, the public comment regarding this issue, and now I'm going to...